bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Welcome everyone, I'm Alexis Cairo, your new host of Comcast Newsmakers. Our guest today is Kathleen Sparrow, who is the new Chief Executive Officer of the Girl Scouts of Utah. Welcome Kathleen, it's great to see you again. We've we run into each other a little bit over the past uh, few weeks and uh, you've had a very distinguished career in, in government and a lot in nonprofit. Mm -hmm. You just joined the Girl Scouts, I think, what, November? In November, right. yes. What was the appeal of the Girl Scouts? We all know about the Girl Scouts, of course, but what was the appeal for you? Really, the, the main appeal that uh, attracted me was the fact that we make a difference in girls' lives. How could you not want to be a part of an organization that influences our leaders of tomorrow? Um, I feel very strongly about mentoring women and being part of that kind of a movement. And so to be able to influence in a very small way is, is very appealing. So. And Girl Scouts is, uh, I think people uh, think of Girl Scouts as camping and outdoors, but it's much, much more now, isn't it? It's, it's more, than, more than that. Uh, mm -hmm. We offer programs and activities for girls that are in the areas of science, technology, uh, engineering, math, uh, in addition to the outdoor programming because we know girls love to do that as well. But we're really looking at building the whole girl so that they can become more courageous, more confident, and build character. Uh, that's our mission. So. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. That's the STEM program, is that right? It is the STEM Tell program. Tell us a little yes. bit more about that and, um, uh, and the purpose. Is it to get more young girls interested in those areas of technology? Are there not enough girls now that are in that area? There's, there's definitely not enough women in those areas. And what we're trying to do is get girls interested in science, technology, engineering, math, and STEM, but also to keep them involved. You know, when they hit fourth or fifth grade, Mm. they start to lose interest in those things and look mm. at other activities. So our goal is to offer programming to inspire them to stay involved in those areas. Mm -hmm. so. And has that been successful? Has that been a successful Yes, it program? has. We, we just actually had a, a wonderful program up at the University of Utah where we brought girls to a day at the U and they got to do experiments. They got to learn a little bit about college life, uh, just learn about how, what possibilities there are for girls uh, in those areas. Uh, they had a blast, to be honest with you. <laughs> they had a great time, but they also, it was very educational for them and, and inspiring, and these are girls that you know, are on the cusp of moving into something else and maybe not sure if they should stay in you know, the math field or the engineering field, and we're helping to guide their career, so to speak. Because a, a lot of people also think of, of cookies, of course. Yes, I mean, of I know course. that's what I like to think of. I'm <laughs> Girl Scouts, too. Um, and, and that is a big part of your brand and, and, and reputation, but, but not the only thing. But it is a significant part, right? It is a significant part. Cookies, uh, the history of Girl Scouting, we've been around for almost 100 years. And cookies have been a part of that history for almost the entire time. But what people don't know about cookies is it's building entrepreneurs. We're building entrepreneurial skills in those girls. They're not just out selling cookies. They have to set goals. They have to plan a sales strategy about how to meet those goals. Oh, I didn't know that. They learn a little bit about product, mar product marketing, um, how to manage money, and how to do right. accounting. Uh, so it's not, just buy, it's not just selling cookies. It's the story behind the cookie. And the mission of the cookie is to help fund programs and activities in all the areas that we offer so that the girls are building those uh, opportunities to move forward in Girl Scouting through a cookie. Excellent. I didn't know that. That's yeah. fascinating. And, 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 and speaking of, of uh, fundraising, there's a big event coming up, I think, yes. uh, March 3rd, International Women's Day. Yes. We've got a little less than a minute, but why don't you tell us a little bit about that? International Women's Day is a global event. It's celebrated throughout the world. But here in Utah, we're the only event in Utah celebrating women. Uh, it's, it's about food and fun. We have silent auctions, so it's about raising money. And the money goes to the STEM program. It's really to design to inspire girls to continue. And though the fundraising efforts we do there helps with our programming efforts. And that's, again, March 3rd. It's March going to be 3rd. at the depot, is that it's right? It's at the Gateway. At the Gateway. At the Gateway, the Grand Hall at the Gateway. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's been great to see you again and Absolutely. great talking with you, and good luck with International Women's Day. Thank you for letting us be here today. Thanks, Kathleen. Our guest today has been Kathleen Sparrow with Girl Scouts of Utah. I'm Alexis Cairo for Comcast Newsmakers.